morning guys we're down here on one of my private properties here this private pond here um, we got at least one coon here same trap got three traps and this is the only one that's either working or the only one that's just catching shit I gotta figure this out but all that other trap set off so we might have had a double but uh anywho yeah, that's a nice boar coon it looks like here. So I'm trying not to do too much filming. It looks like what the neighboring landowner is about to come in. Check things out. So, all right, there you go. Morning. All right, we got a little bit better calm down spot here where we can get into. Um, now with you guys, I don't know how you feel, but generally the first cold snap of the year locks down the coons pretty good. Um, but you get that nice warm spell and uh you end up getting every trap robbed but occasionally that squirrel finds a nut so we're here on a farm this guy's the fox farm here got one there we got two more over here so just got to be careful firing the gun here so and every single trap has been knocked down or hit. So he's having issues with them getting in the combines and crap. So he said, just come out and get as many as you can. Um, and then try to catch these fox as well. So coons were on the move pretty good last night. But every single trap was hit. So I'm not a big fan of these Z traps or whatever they're called. Um, if you don't get that trigger adjusted just right, they don't fire. That one's been hit, and I got three other ones that are three or four other ones that have been hit. But we're gonna try to get dispatch dispatch these guys without shooting a car, a vehicle, or something. So, um, we we'll keep you guys in the loop. But it's a triple here. Um, I got a lot of traps to rebate, but I'm trying to rush through. I gotta get uh, trying to get to work on my first day. I don't start till nine. I'm sitting at just before eight o'clock. So. I think I got enough time to reset all this. Check these last few and then I'll check that new property um, that I set for coyotes and beaver. Uh, I'll check that one on my way home from work. So, all right guys, take care. We'll keep you in the loop if anything comes up after work, but um, yeah, that's about it for today, for at least this morning. So I'm gonna get all this shit reset. Cause like I said, he, they set off every, like not set off, but they robbed every bait station, so. We're gonna get going. I'm throwing you guys in the truck. I gotta get on the road. Okay, guys, let's talk coon cuffs for a minute. Um, again, I'm on my way into work. We ended up with four coons. I probably should have had more, but on that one spot where we get tripled up on, um, I really don't like those push pull traps. You know, some guys do, some guys don't. I don't know. I don't like them personally. I got the only reason I got those is because I bought a guy completely out of all of his trapping stuff, and those were in the stuff, and I'm using them. There's too many moving parts to it. Uh, like the one where I caught the smaller of the three coons, the uh, the trigger. Um, there's brass uh, screw in there, and it's starting to come out. I just smacked it in with a hammer. It's going to be broken by the time I get the next coon. But, uh, I don't know. Um, I really do. I mean, Duke, if you're watching this, I really do like your guys' uh, the original coon cuff. Um, it's just a pull trigger, but you could. it has less moving parts. It's set up just like a, uh, a jaw trap. Um, because it has that trigger that you can adjust file it down you can night latch you can do everything you need to do the same way you do with a draw trap um, and hell I've had those things set so soft that uh, I was catching mice you know? so uh, yeah it's uh, it's one of those things I just I don't like those push pull traps it just seems like it's like not enough, it's really hard to adjust them. So, <clears throat> I'm only, plus I don't really normally coon trap, but when I do.
do. I like to try to get as many as I possibly can out the gate so I can stop trapping them. So missing them sucks. Um, and the way that the, the stake portion of it is wide with an slideable chain. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that with this freeze thaw weather because you can't screw them into like a base of a tree. You know what I'm saying? You can take a drill bit with a half inch drill bit, drill a hole in a, like a dead stump or something and put them in there. And it's not freezing into the ground. And that's how, unfortunately, sometimes coons will get caught in those things. And if they can't pull it out of the ground, they just sit there and spin. And eventually, it'll be the same deal. Even if you had your hand in a handcuff and it wouldn't let you move your hand, you'd eventually, and you were fighting it hard enough, you'd spin your wrist right off. So, it's just, it's a life or death deal for them. So, they're going to fight till the death or fight until they, something breaks, you know? Um, so, we want to be able to have them trapped and pull free of whatever's in there and not being able to drill a hole into something and get them up off the ground in this freeze, freezing weather. It's also a downfall to them, so, um, I don't know, there's an improv uh, product review, uh, I like to do because they have the single post stake, um, when it's warm enough it's not a problem, it slides in the dirt a little better, uh, but when it's getting cold out, you just, so I mean, you're carrying a drill bit anyhow, um, for your dirt holes, for your coyotes, it's not too hard to just throw like a three eighths to half inch drill bit in your bag and just punch a hole in a dead rock log or something. But, or hell, even just a two by four. You can just literally put a two by four on the ground and put it in there. But you want something heavy enough that they can pull against it because. But that's what I don't like about these Jeep, these, uh, I don't know what they're called, but these push pull traps I got is they have to. Pull it. There's, you know, they have to pull it so hard that uh, sometimes they pull it up out of the ground, you know, and uh, then it's just laying there on the side, like you've seen some of them in that other video you know, with the coons. They just pull it up, and it doesn't set off the trap. So if I had an adjustable tension on them triggers, I would have had them coon. So. Well, I at least would have caught those same coon in earlier traps and not had three or four traps sitting there now not producing because they're empty. <laughs> Let me know what your thoughts are on that. I've tried to keep it short for you. I know I don't, I've been keep trying to shorten up my video content. I know I don't like watching videos where a lot of guys are just bam, 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 and I have a bad habit of that. So, um, it gets lonely on the trap line. That's what it is. Uh, Alright guys, well, like I said, this is just going to be a little bit of a improv product review. Um, yeah, again, for the price, Duke's probably the better way to go. Or just a straight pull trap um, with a trigger on it. With a, You can adjust it just like you adjust pan tension and trigger tension on your jaw traps. So, uh, for the price, I think those push pulls are... I want to say 30, 20 to 30 bucks more a dozen than uh, just regular dupes are. I haven't priced them out in a long time, especially since the Chinese steel prices are through the roof now. So we'll see. Uh, like I said, I'm starting a job today, so here in a couple years I'm going to have a few more traps and start ordering stuff. and. Being able to do those dumb product reviews, not dumb, but I'll be able to buy stupid shit and just use it, see if I like it. If not, I'll throw it away or sell it. So, uh, we're getting there. I know here in the next couple years, I'm hoping to do some traveling trapping. My buddy, uh, I got a couple buddies down in Oklahoma, so we can multi-purpose that trip. Um, go down there, trap bobcats and coyotes. Fox, I think they got some grays down that way, and uh, hog hunt while we're down there. So, uh, yeah, 
so we're going to be trying to do that. I'm going to try getting Jay on board with one or two of those trips. I think that guy likes to work, though, so he might not. We'll see, though. Um, I know we talked a little bit about doing some of them. You know, just packing up a camper and heading south for, like, when it gets really cold up here. Heading down there and running uh, a bunch of uh, sets down there. Trying to get into some more otter and um, bobcats. And maybe some species that we don't normally get, like your grays and a little more reds. Um, so, I think that'd be pretty neat. Just get a couple other trappers together and we go out there and just start calling around, lining up a shitload of property and just spend a week or two down there. A full week, seven, eight days. knock out a bunch of traps and see how much fur we can come back with. I think you get a few of us uh, good trappers out there, we can probably knock out a lot of fur. A lot of fur. Um, I know I enjoy watching the Hoosier Boys do that, so I think you guys would enjoy it too. But uh, Alright, I'm going to shut up. I'll uh, see you guys after work if we catch anything. If not, I'll see you uh, in the skin and shed to do a closeout. Alright, take care.